Hey you guys, Eric here, and welcome to another day of my 90 day Fit for Life challenge. We are on day 30, a third of the way done this entire challenge. And looking at over yesterday, I was really excited. Like, it was a really good day. And I'll be going into more detail on that in just a little bit. As far as questions go for today, I didn't get any questions to discuss, but I strongly encourage you guys to go and leave a comment down in the comment section below about any questions that you have in mind uh, pertaining to uh, my own journey or just to discuss about health and, and so on. But anyway, the thing that I want to be talking about the most is, of course, uh, my day yesterday. So as far as yesterday goes, it was a really good day, like I just said. And it was a very satisfying day, and that in itself is basically a challenge for me, uh, es essentially, uh, in the sense that even though the day yesterday was very satisfying, I really want to be setting the bar a little bit higher. So I did my workout, I did my walk, and I, re I really pushed myself really hard on, on, that, on that end, but I know that I can be setting the bar a lot higher. I can be doing things a lot better, I can be doing things a lot more effectively, uh, and uh, same goes for my work as well. Like, all around it was a very satisfying day uh, yesterday, but I want to be setting the bar higher, much like uh, I do with my goals, or at least how I explain my goals is I see my goals more as directions as opposed to destinations, and to explain that, really a lot of, when it comes to goal setting or, or when it comes to improving yourself so a lot of people will say okay this is exactly what i want to be doing moving forward like i want to be losing 10 pounds or or i want to be lifting this much weight or, or whatever and the thing is that a lot of people strive for that that's really good that's a uh, that's obviously a really good thing however once they actually hit that mark they stop for the rest of that month or the remainder of the day, like, or, or the remainder of that month. If they set a goal for, say, over the course of a month, they wanted to do th this specific thing, then a lot of people will kind of just stop at that at that point and, and take, take it easy. What I'm getting at with that is that way of thinking, it's goal seeing, is that people see goals as sort of destinations in that regard. But for me, I see it more as a direction in the sense that, okay, well, if I really want to be losing that much weight, then I just want to be losing weight in general. And this number is just a number to represent like a sort of a measurement that I can use to, uh, to, to, to measure my progress or to measure my results at the end of the month or, or whatever, whatever amount of time that I give myself. So for me, that, that's how I see it is that yes, Yesterday was a really satisfying day, but also at the same time, I want to be building up that momentum. I shouldn't be resting on just that, uh, just on the uh, on those results of getting back up and moving forward with that. Because literally, this past week has been a huge mess. It has been a, a a really big struggle of me building up my workflow and building up myself to get to this point. And that's really that accomplishment is overcoming this hurdle because. I'm really excited, I'm really pumped, and I'm, I really want to be building up a lot more and growing a lot more and doing a lot of other extra things and really pushing myself. And that's one thing that I'm really proud about and that I'm really happy about, that I feel that this way. And I really want to be experiencing this kind of emotion that I'm feeling and that I'm explaining to you guys. But that's basically my day yesterday. It was a very satisfying day, but overall, I can be doing a lot better, I can be pushing myself a lot more, and I'm really eager to do that. Today's recipe I want to be sharing with you guys is actually a snack food that you guys can have. It's a replacement of chips, and basically this recipe that I want to be sharing is revolving around kale chips. Now, I have experienced uh, different variations of chips from vegetables, but also even some fruits as well. You can use this particular recipe that I'm sharing with you for bananas, sweet potatoes, uh, cucumbers and zucchinis along with the along with kale as well. So it's a really good replacement. It's very healthy for you, obviously, and that's really a good thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and joining me on this journey and, and, and watching this video. My name is Eric, and I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome!